Hello my people, so today is just a, a little video about what I think about civilization and how I think that civilization is collapsing. It's day by day degeneracy becomes normalized. And what degeneracy were you talking about? Things that I can't see on YouTube, but I think everyone watching knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the rainbow people, um, all of these other sects, all of these other things but we, you know what it's been said a million times on youtube now the whole everything just like it's constantly talked about the woke people all this so i'm not really going to speak on that what i'm really going to speak on though is the sort of city life and how cities are just terrible cities are number one way to get depressed think about it it's just a bunch of alienated um isolated people from different tribes, different races, all put into one melting pot, um, given welfare payments with a centralized government, no community centers left, nothing really to do with elevating the people. So no wonder why all these young men are just getting so pissed off and angry. <laughs> and instead of directing their anger towards the system, think about it there. Social media have put in this very intelligent algorithm where you're directed towards drill music and all of this you know go hurt your fellow man if you're on road watching this just know you've been brainwashed you've been conditioned to do this all that energy that you have inside of you that can be used for you know good means I, mean, I can't really speak about it on youtube but all that energy within you that can be used to you know <laughs> it's all being used for going against your fellow man who's from the same class as you oh how coincidental the guy that's from the same class as you from the same race as you go for him and even different race even a white guy going for a black guy or a black guy going for a white guy it's all class guys that they're, they're trying to put in this thing about how it's all about race now it's about class and that's the realest shit that's the realest it's not about race man it's about class and that's my opinion but it's an opinion that can be backed up with lots of evidence and what else did i want to say identity politics this is one way that they trap you with the youtube algorithms they try to trap you into identity politics and once you start thinking about like my enemy is women or like rainbow people or your enemy is the other races then you're finished man you can't look at it that way your enemy ain't other human beings that are like you i gotta be really careful what i speak about on this channel but there's a reason why all of these podcasts where men are putting down women and women are putting down men all these podcasts are going so mainstream there's a reason look at it all these interviews in the streets and all that there's a reason man all this rage bait that they're trying to put your way they're trying to make you angry at your fellow humans every time that you get angry at your fellow human beings from the same class as you you're finished man it's all by design if you think about it and it, these are kind of thoughts that i've always had but i really never really put them into words because i always felt scared of doing that but now that i've realized i've realized that i don't really care anymore and that i've always thought the system is just not designed for me and i never really wanted to like operate in such a system and people like andrew tate are making these videos against the matrix and all this but even that even that Andrew Tate view of make money and all this escape the matrix that guy still got Bugattis that guy still he's still not free he still has to pay people off he still has to he's got responsibilities and all that he's still not free and for me I want to maximize freedom in my life autonomy the thing is Central C he's not free this is the whole thing that I'm talking about he's a slave to the label he's an employee Fredo he's a slave all these people they have to pay their taxes and all this they're not actually free there's no actual freedom these people aren't people that you actually should look up to nor should you look up to a 95 worker nor should you look up to a trapper on road all these people they're still slaves i swear down if you could like give me central c's life or like an amazon tribesman's life i'd take the amazon guy's life the guy that's living in the rainforest because Central C, he has to give his batty up. He has to throw it back, all this, man. He has to worship Shaitan. But the thing is, the guy that lives in the Amazon rainforest, he doesn't have to do none of that. He doesn't have to worship the devil or throw it back for P. Diddy. I don't care about anything anymore. Consumerism, 
materialism is all just trash none of it's even needed all of it's fake if you look at everything if you look at the restaurants if you look at every brand and all that you don't need it to be honest all we need is really just 10 pound a day to live off i'm a minimalist at this point i've realized that these brands or what can you really get all you can really get is like a some food from the restaurant which is you can get like a bowl of rice and some sushi or something that's the max that you can really get like i'm satisfied with basically nothing i don't want to own anything anymore i've realized that the whole system is basically just a scam it's all a scam and they need workers <laughs> it's like it's weird and i've I, i've come to this conclusion man that civilization society is all just a scam and what else is there i've noticed that if you think about it our freedoms are day by day taken away from us as more laws are getting set up there's no real autonomy laws are just bs as well what what are laws is just a way for the gov to control us everything's gov controlling us man i feel like the gov are just controlling us on every single level down to the most minute level there's no more walkable cities in either like every time i try to walk around i love walking but i can't really walk anymore because there's so much whips there's so much cars so much pollution we're destroying the environment day by day and mother nature beautiful nature it's all getting destroyed so i don't know man i feel like i'm really pessimistic right now and full of doom but i don't want to be full of doom i want to be more optimistic i want to be more you know because that's another thing they want to make you pessimistic they want to make you defeated they want you because uh, all these men that go on ride outs they're all defeated they're all pessimistic that's why they go on ride outs that's why kk done his thing because they're all pessimistic about life and that we need to kind of change the discourse about uk drill uk drill shouldn't be something that is so black and white the conversation on it should be nuanced you feel me and uk joel to me it's a microcosm of society when i if you think about it like society is this big thing and if you want to change society it's too drastic of a plan right but you can change uk drill because uk drill is a very small thing it's it's not a huge thing so if i can change uk drill then i can move up and do more and I want to make my impact on the culture. That's really what my thing is. I want to change minds. I, even like getting a career. What is that really? Like, it's not something that I really care about anymore. It's just, it's still more materialism status. It's a status, status kind of based thing. And all of it's man-made, if you think about it. Your job role. All these responsibilities that you adopt as well from getting a job. You kind of lose your freedom. I've kind of realized 20k that you make yourself is way more valuable than 200k that you get from some job because if you get a job with all these good benefits and all that the thing is you pay with your soul and social media as well using social media is free but you pay with your soul you're selling your soul because think about it they're tracking your heartbeat they've got everything down now any f apps that you use now calculator it's all connected to google somehow to own a smartphone nowadays you need to be connected to google and this is the centralization of tech tech is all centralized towards these big brands google microsoft meta if you think about it the internet when it first came out it was this big kind of freedom expression of freedom where you can put out anything you want and there was no chance of your content being taken down but once you realize it do you know what as well i, I realize most of the internet is just bots most of the internet is just literally yeah go on x there's bots like is this ai twitter is dead youtube when i use youtube in the comment section most of the comments don't even look like real people anymore and this is a mad sort of observation i've been making even when i go outside and walk down the street i see a homeless person the homeless person is acting up that homeless person they could be an actor for all i know who knows the government might have employed actors to sit on the street and stir up some kind of 
like a defeatism in the population when they see a homeless person acting crazy there's this crazy woman that she's always bouncing up and down and sc- screaming in the streets nowadays I feel like it, it might just be a government paid actress because no one acts like that maybe all of it is just controlled maybe there's no autonomy left I feel like but that's another thing as well they want you to be defeated and depressed they don't want you to have other sort of avenues to use tech through linux and all these other open source software instead of proprietary if you think about it everyone's dependent on google now everyone's dependent on instagram and meta and there is actually alternatives and if you think about it as well the alternatives telegram all these apps they're not really encrypted like that all these men that are on roads they're using enco chat they're using these you know stardom recently got locked up for using an encrypted chat these encrypted chats are kind of like not they're controlled by the big tech as well they're on the app store they're on the play store so this is why i recommend don't even use a smartphone if you want to get stuff done then chat to people in real life and yeah this is the maddest sort of paradigm shift that i've had my whole kind of views on life and the world have really changed recently and i think for the better to be honest because now i've become more free i've noticed like i don't care about consumerism anymore because this is what the economy runs on it's like an attention economy in a way right now this is what we've come came out of recently the knowledge economy which it was like developing these apps and software and all this and now we don't really need any more software if you think about it everyone's literally just addicted to these short form content on tiktok and youtube now we've kind of gone deeper into the attention economy and and people just uh, they've lost their attention spans and now really and truly people are just finished man people are completely finished <laughs> the average guy from there's no real reason to even interact with the average person anymore to me the average guy he's like a, a dickhead now he's like a complete dumb dumb down piece of shit this is why i don't care about consuming content anymore man because you end up being weird and that like i see that and if you watch people like that you're finished because you just turn into a bot like a slave from watching all this content consumerism you just become a slave to the brands the slave to their labels i'm done living in a way that uh, encourages slavery right now i'm just focused on my own autonomy and everyone should live their life in a way that focuses on freedom if you have a job offer from a job that offers 200k but you have to be a batty man and you have to put all this stuff in your body then reject it and if you have a gig that can make 15k mowing lawns and but you'll be so free from mowing people's lawns then do that because i've realized man i don't want to get involved in corporate things i don't want to get involved in none of that i want freedom and everyone should just go for freedom and i've kind of realized and kind of building up a sort of hatred towards the system and a lot of young people as well they don't really like the system they don't really care for this original view of getting a house getting a mortgage getting a whip they don't care about that anymore and i don't care about it i'm not saying that you shouldn't care about yeah if you want to get a whip if you want to get a mortgage cool man but i want to live like i'm nomad i don't really care about uh, possessions I, i like experiences more we should have the right to ownership though that's a big thing we should have the right to own a house we should have the right to own a car and to drive whips without all of these regulations and all these like road tax insurance all these things man it's all so bs if you think about it it's all bs but i hope you guys kind of enjoy this new format of videos just unfiltered ranting yeah i'm out bang